Yeah, Ben, Sarah, Lieutenant Governor Bicewitz says the state is seeing an alarming increase in racist and white supremacist events across the state. And today she's calling on both Bristol residents and city officials to take a stand against the hate. Why do I have to be afraid to walk in my own town? Myra Berrio Sampson was stunned when she saw these photos from a white supremacist group's demonstration last week in her town. I only live literally like a mile and a half from there. What would happen if I was to drive to the store to go get milk or something? The Bristol native joined Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz and community advocates Monday, speaking out against a recent rise in racist behavior. I do not feel safe anymore. I do not feel comfortable. There were 207 white supremacist propaganda incidents statewide in 2022, a 115% increase from 2021, making Connecticut ninth in the nation for these incidents. We want our state to be welcoming, to be diverse, to be inclusive, and to be free of hatred of any kind. The Anti-Defamation League says about one in every 10 Connecticut communities was targeted in 2022 with white supremacist flyers appearing across every region and size of town and city. How much more can we take? And the answer is we don't know, but let this be the breaking point in which every single person here takes a stand and says no more. Monday advocates called on the mayor and city leadership to address these incidents, saying Bristol hasn't done enough. If our city leadership is not going to take a stand against this type of behavior, then we will. Bristol's police chief present at Monday's press conference, and while he didn't want to speak on camera, he says the department is still actively investigating last week's incident. For Barrio this Sampson, she's heartened by Monday's message. I'm feeling like action is going to be taken and things are going to be done. And today is the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington. Today's press conference taking place here in Bristol in front of this mural, which features Martin Luther King Jr. That fact brought up multiple times this afternoon. And despite just calling on residents to stand up, Lieutenant Governor Bicewitz also telling me she has reached out to you and spoken with both the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI. For now, reporting live in Bristol, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.